Okay, so so far uh, you have done the experiment of uh, measuring the current voltage characteristic of a single module and you also done the uh, experiment of measuring the current voltage uh, characteristic uh, of a series uh, connected PV modules and series and parallel connected PV modules. Now one important parameters uh, when it comes to PV technology is the, uh, the amount of energy that is generated. In theory, the, amount, the PV module will generate maximum energy when it is uh, following the sun, right? Which in, in, in that case, the PV module is collecting all the radiation falling on a PV module. Uh, but in practice, we cannot always keep on focusing the PV module towards the sun, and therefore, uh, uh, it is important to find out what will happen if PV module is fixed at a given location, and what will happen if PV module is continuously following the sun. Okay, when PV module is continuously following the sun, it is called the sun tracking. So the in this experiment, which is experiment number three, uh, the idea is to find out effect of sun tracking on energy generation. Okay, from a PV module, right? <coughs> so normally, what happens? PV modules are installed. So if I have the north-south, okay, normally my PV modules are installed like this. So PV module should be south-facing, and the angle of the PV module should be equal to the latitude angle. Okay, so this angle is equal to the phi, which is the latitude angle of the location. So if I am sitting in a Mumbai and I want to install a PV module, latitude angle of Mumbai is 19 degrees. Therefore, this PV module should be inclined 90 degree uh, with respect to the horizontal surface and the face of the module should be in the south direction. So this is the case of a PV module which is fixed at a given location and this is again a optimized condition. So this PV module will actually give higher electricity as compared to the PV module which is slit sitting flat on the ground. Now we know that if PV module is continuously following the sun, then the, uh, the amount of energy generation will be higher. And uh, for this reason that if PV module is like this and the sun radiation are coming like this, then the interception area is equal to the, the surface area of the PV module. Okay? Now instead of this, if sun rays are coming like this. Okay, then the effective area that is the effective area that is uh, that a PV module is actually covering is less as compared to the area of the uh, as compared to the area that it would have uh, that it would have intercepted. And because of that, when the plane of the PV module is not in the perpendicular of the solar radiation, it is going to collect the lesser amount of radiation. And things are different in the early morning. So in the early morning. If your P, if your rays are coming like this, and again in this case, uh, is the rays are coming like this. In this case, the the effective area uh, that is intercepted by the module uh, is less. Also in this case, the there will be reflection that will occur from the glass, and therefore, <coughs> depending on the position of the sun, if my sun is at this position, I should keep my module like this. If my sun is at this position. Okay, I should keep my module like this or if my sun is in this position, let us say evening position, then I should keep my module like this. Okay. So in all three cases, the module is perpendicular to the sun. So therefore, in this experiment, what we need to find out is what will happen if you keep your module to a fixed angle like this or what will happen if you are actually changing your position of the module depending on the position of the sun. This kind of arrangement is called the sun tracking and therefore idea is how much energy you will generate in this position if the module is fixed and how much energy you will generate in this position when your module is continuously following the sun. Obviously in this case you expect that energy generation will be higher as compared to this case but this requires extra arrangement because your module has to be uh, changing position all the time and therefore extra arrangement is required. Uh, in your laboratory kit that is provided to you, uh, the arrangement is made such that, so that you can change the angle 
So, you can change this angle and you can also change the orientation. So, arrangement is provided in your laboratory kit, so that you can make the arrangement both in the uh, east west direction as well in the north south direction, so that you can actually make the uh, make the arrangement in this particular condition. Now, the question is how to do the measurement of energy, right. First of all, what we want to find out how much energy generation is occurring. Okay, now, energy generation is, uh, is basically power into time, energy generation is nothing but a power into time. So, in your previous experiment what we have done is and the, what is this power? This is the peak power, this is the peak power or the maximum power of a module or a combination of a modules in a PVRA. So, what we need to do now is uh, what we need to know, so basically and this energy can then be given in terms of watt into hour, okay. this will be the unit of energy. So, if we can measure the watt hour generated in let us say some 3 hours time period in this arrangement and we, if we can find out watt hour generated in this arrangement and we will know how much is the extra energy or watt hour generated in this arrangement. How to do that? So, for, for this what we need to do is uh, a quick experiment, quick measurement of quick measurement of P max is required in this arrangement and in the arrangement 2. So, in the arrangement 1, so I will call it ok. So, this is arrangement 1 and this is arrangement 2 ok. So, now in this arrangement 1 which is the fixed module what we need to do is for example, we need to time, we need to find out the p m at that time okay. uh, and multiplication of p m and time will give me the, the energy generated in that time period. right? So, let us say I start my experiment at 2 o'clock. So, at 2 o'clock if I find the p m is uh, is uh, let us say 10 watt, okay. then I do the measurement again in this condition at say let us say 230, when I do the measurement again at 3 o'clock, I do my measurement again at 330 and I do my measurement again at 4 o'clock and I can continue doing this. Okay. So, let us say at 2 o'clock my wattage was 10, at 230 my wattage was let us say 9 watt. So, between 2 to 2 13 half an hour I assume that my wattage is constant. Okay. So, I multiply by, so I, when I multiply this power into 30 right. So, if I multiply 10 watt into 30 minute is 0 0.5 hour. So, 10 watt into 0 0.5 this is my energy. Okay. Now, this power is measured at 2 30 pm. I, I assume that next half an hour this remains constant. So, again my energy is 9 into uh, 9 into 0.5. So, that is my energy generated. Again, let us say I measure uh, uh, 9.5 watt in this arrangement. This can happen because there may because of the cloud it may be lower, but now it is higher. So, if I measure 9.5 watt and I assume that from 3 o'clock till 3.30 my power remains constant. So, at 9.5 into 0.5 is, is my energy generated. right? So, at each point I need to find out the p max. Now, this is the fast you need to do work very fast right, because within this you have to find out entire I v characteristic of a PV module and from P v entire I v characteristic of a PV module you need to find out v m. So, basically what does it mean? It means that at every half an hour you have to measure this graph, every half an hour you measure this graph. Okay. So, but basically at 2 p m you measure this, at 2 30 p m you measure this again at 3 pm again you measure this every time you find pm 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 use this pm value here the maximum power point and then multiply by the duration or gap after which you are measuring smaller the gap better it is but it the gap may be 15 minutes or 20 minutes or a half an hour the rest, so therefore in this case if you overall if you are doing eight measurement you have to measure iv characteristic of your module eight times but hopefully by this experiment you will be very you will be expert in measuring the maximum power point of your module and therefore, you will be able to find out the energy right. What you need to do now? 
after 10 experiment you have to sum this okay so then you can say okay total energy generated during 3 hours duration of a module is this much now okay this module can be one module or combination of two modules three modules four modules whatever you want to have it can be this experiment can be done for a single module or a combination of module right so in for arrangement one which is the fixed module you have made this table and for each pm i said uh, let me repeat again for each pm you have to do the full iv curve measurement basically the peak power you need to find out for each so you have to find out the peak power at 2 o'clock you have to find out the peak power at 2:30 you have to find out the peak power or maximum power at 3 o'clock 3:30 4 o'clock 4:30 so you will actually do some uh, 6 to 8 measurement minimum 6 to 8 measurement multiply by the duration what is our assumption our assumption is that from 2 o'clock till 2:30 the power remains same which is not the good assumption because we know that radiation intensity is changing but uh, we just find want to find out what is the effect right now same thing which you have done for uh, same thing we have done for the uh, uh, assign uh, arrangement one you have to do the same thing for arrangement two okay now both the experiment are kind of going parallel uh, so therefore if you have done this experiment at 2 o'clock and if i want to make the same table again here okay suppose so i have to do the time here then i have to find out the pm i have to find out the energy okay suppose you have done that this experiment 2 o'clock you do your measurement and let's say do this experiment at 210 and do this experiment at 240 do this experiment at 310 and 340 okay same thing again at 210 at 210 you have to find out I am at 2:40 again. You have to find out the whole IV characteristic. 310 again. You need to at 310 again. You have to find out the whole IV characteristic. At okay. So for every time, you need to find out the full IV characteristic so that you can find out the maximum power point. You can find out the maximum power point at 2:40. Find out the maximum power point at 310. Find out the maximum power point at 3:40. Continue till at least three hours. Okay. Continue this duration for at least three hours. Now use those values here. So what you will find out that this may have little higher value of power, right? Because you are following the sun exactly, you are following the sun exactly. So you will have little higher value of powers. So it may be 9.5, it may be 10, it may be 8. Okay? You multiply how to get? You multiply with the duration. Again, you are assuming that from from 210 to 240, your power generation remains same. So you are multiplying by energy generated. Power is 10.5. So you multiply power generated and by the time duration which is half an hour so you will actually get 10.5 into 0.5 this is your energy generated again 9.5 into 0.5 that is your energy generated again at the end do the same thing total energy generated in terms of watt hour okay so from this table you will have to measure the watt hour of this arrangement from this arrangement you will find the total watt hour generated and eventually the whole objective of this experiment is to compare how much extra energy you will generate in case of arrangement 2 right this is very busy experiment because at every time you have to find out the iv characteristic for arrangement 1 and you have to find out the iv characteristic of arrangement 2 so it is very busy experiment and a team of uh, people uh, can do this experiment very nicely again compare the energy generated from this and find out your conclusion about uh, what is the advantage of sun tracking how much extra energy you can uh, generate if you are following the sun in those 3 hours again uh, there are several questions given at the end of your manual and you are requested to do this experiment measure uh, do the measurement and try to answer the questions that are given at the end of the experiment thank you Okay, in this experiment where we are trying to uh, measure the impact of uh, the sun tracking uh, on the generation of energy. Uh, as explained in the theory that uh, uh, tracking of the sun uh, for the PV module uh, results in a generation of excess energy or extra energy. But at the same time tracking also result in a uh, manual adjustment or automatic adjustment of module according to the position of the sun. Normally PV modules are installed at an angle which is equal to the latitude angle. So for example in this case 
this is my uh, on the right my is my west this is my east and this direction is basically a south direction so as you can see here the pv modules are now right now installed in the south direction uh, which is not the optimum condition at the current condition and 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 uh, as you can see here uh, as you can see here that this uh, is actually provided uh, uh, to find out whether the module are perpendicular to the sunlight or not if you look at closely there is a shadow of the uh, uh, this pointer here and because which indicates that this modules are not in optimal condition okay so in many real life conditions the modules are installed fixed in the south direction uh, so in this experiment we want to find out what energy can be generated how much energy can be generated if modules are uh, fixed uh, installed at the latitude angle in the south direction or if the mod modules are being tracked okay in this particular situation as explained in the laboratory you need to find out the energy generated in let's say 3 hour duration of the time period uh, in order to find out the energy generation you need to have the uh, the power uh, at that particular time and the time duration so for example what we are doing is for uh, we will measure the iv condition characteristic of a module again you can take one single module two module three module or four module in various combinations so, so even if you want to find out the energy generation from one single module you can do that or you want to find out the energy generation from two single module you can do that so you need to find out the energy in this particular case an energy when you are tracking the sun and i will show you how you can track the sun so in this case if you find out the the power uh, peak power which you can do by current and voltage measurement and uh, multiply by the duration of time and you you need to take the same reading of the peak power in this position for every 20 minutes or every 30 minutes so within the period of 3 hours you will have uh, roughly about 6 uh, uh, to 8 readings so when you multiply the peak power a 6 to 8 reading means you have you are finding 6 to 8 times the iv characteristic you are finding 6 to 8 times the peak power you are multiplying the time so this is one position in which you will make the 6 to 8 readings Uh, in which the modules are facing due south now the second position again uh, which is the position corresponding the sun tracking you need to make the similar number of measurement and see how much energy is generated so you need to find and the main difference that comes from this condition when the modules are not optimally focusing uh, the sun and when modules are optimally focusing the sun is uh, uh, is, is the the current so in this case i have connected one single module in the short circuit condition and you can see here the short circuit current right now you can see here the short circuit current right now is uh, 0.11 ampere now this is not the optimal uh, condition so when we do the sun tracking what we want is the sunlight is always perpendicular to the module and that perpendicular to the module can be obtained if the shadow of this nail does not fall anywhere else okay so now i will show you how to make arrangement your your setup is is uh, is with the arrangement in which you can change you can change this angle up and down and you can also change the you know you can also change here so you can also change the direction here so now uh, if i make this arrangement such that the shadow of this nail should not fall so still there is a shadow so i will keep changing the position of the module i'll keep changing the position of the module okay now the shadow is decreasing shadow is decreasing okay if i increase angle further okay so now you are almost in a situation when there is no shadow following right so this shadow of this uh uh this nail is not following anywhere else and therefore which means that modules are now in a perpendicular to the sunlight let us look at the difference what we will make in the current so let us look at the difference what it will make to the current so look at here earlier case same time same condition the module was producing about 0.11 ampere but now the module is producing 0.29 ampere current right so now if you do the power measurement in this condition your peak power condition peak power will be higher than the case when your modules are facing the south direction and therefore if you are in a situation when your your modules are always facing the sun Uh, which means the sun rays are perpendicular to the module then you are producing more power and if you 
consider this power integrated over a period of time. In this experiment, we are doing this measurement for three hours. So basically, you can find out that energy generated when you are following the sun is higher than the energy generated when your module are facing the uh, due south direction. So again, you have to do the measurement in this position when there is no sun, there is no shadow of this nail here. Again, you have to do the 6 to 8 measurement. So you make this measurement, bring the, down your module back to the south position, take the measurement, bring down your module in this position of no shadow, okay? take the measurement and you keep doing this measurement uh, 6 to 8 times in each position. Okay? In each position, what measurement you are doing? Basically, you are doing the complete IV measurement and basically you are trying to find out the peak power of your module in that particular situation. And when you multiply peak power by the duration or the gap in which no measurement is done, that is your energy produced in that particular time period. You sum up the energy in both the cases and you compare how much energy is produced in this particular case when the modules are perpendicular to the sunlight and the case when your modules are fixed at an angle which is equal to the latitude angle and facing the south. So this, of course, this is a manual tracking and you, you are moving your module in such a way that your panel is always perpendicular to sunlight but in real time you can do the manual tracking also you can do the automatic tracking so there are automatic trackings are available which you can which can focus the module always towards the sun so the objective of this experiment is to show you the difference in the amount of energy that can be generated from the same module if module are fixed south facing or if the module are always taking the sun hopefully you will do this measurement Okay, so you are going to do this kind of measurement, uh, you will measure the time, you will measure the voltage, you will measure the current, uh, but most importantly, you will find out the peak power. Now, for each time, you need to find out what is the maximum power. If you want to find out the maximum power, you have to find out the IV characteristic of that particular time and you multiply by the hour uh, time during which you, you have the measurement uh, for which you, you are calculate considering this power and therefore you can find out the energy required. So this is well explained uh, in the theory part of this experiment. So uh, if you do this measurement in both the position 6 to 8 times during the 3 hours duration you will find out how much energy is generated when you are tracking the sun and how much energy is generated when the modules are uh, facing the south direction and the comparison of that will give you clear advantage of the sun tracking as compared to the fixed arrangement of the modules. Again, I hope uh, you will learn a lot from doing this experiment. Uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you.